What up, it's your girl, Minna, and I'm so excited that you are back to watch a video on my channel. Today, we're gonna be doing this sultry, beautiful, smoky eye look, and I hope that I've slowed it down enough for you to be able to, one, follow along, or two, just be entertained. So I'm glad that you're here. Make sure you subscribe, and let's just get to it. Let's just get into it. In your name, I come alive to declare your victory. The resurrected king is resurrecting me. All right, let's get the party started. I have my Bluetooth earpiece in that I got on Amazon. I love this because I'm listening to a podcast actually while I talk you through this tutorial. First on my edges, I'm gonna apply this Jamaican black castor oil. <sighs> trying to grow these things back, yo. I don't know what happened. Life happened. What are you using on your edges? Do you have shovel edges? Do you have any products that you absolutely love? Comment below and let me know, please. I've heard of the Miracle Drops. They're expensive though. So before I buy them, I wanna make sure that it actually works. I've also heard of Edge Equity. Have you heard of that? Does that work? Do you know anybody personally who's used it and has seen success? I don't know, maybe I just waste the money now. I'm using this style booster. I do use gel, but that ain't gonna dry fast enough because I need this to dry now so I can put my wig on and go sit down. This is not gonna be your product in the summertime. So you cannot be wearing this in the heat and the in the humidity. No, 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 no. On a cool day, totally this will work. At least for me. And these are some struggle braids, but that's okay because it doesn't matter. You feel what I'm saying? They're not as flat as I would like for them to be. <laughs> that also doesn't matter right now. Oh dear God. And this is a synthetic blend wig that I got from the beauty supply for $40. This is not an everyday wig. I mean, it could be, but you gotta take it off at night. This ain't gonna be your wear it to bed, get up in the morning, do all kind of workouts. No, 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 no. This ain't gonna be her, okay? Line up, line up, line up, line up. I forgot how cute she is. Transformation. Buster, what it is right now? Black hair just like really works for me. Wow, gray hair peeking out. But we're gonna begin with priming the lips. You know I love to prime my lips. I gotta take off the Vaseline. I stay keeping my lips moisturized. Very, very important, okay? You can't be having dry, gross lips and then trying to put lip gloss, a lip stain, a lipstick on top. Don't do it to yourself. It's not worth it. It's gonna look real raggedy and crazy and gross when you do your face. So you want to make sure you hydrate your lips completely overnight, during the day, everything without makeup. So that when you do use this primer, your lips don't look crazy. And even with a gloss, it can look clumpy and gross. You just don't want that to happen. Somebody asked me, someone commented and said on my Instagram, if you're not following me there, follow me there now, like literally right now. Someone commented and said that it made this product made her lips really, really dry. Well, that to me says that perhaps before putting the product on, your lips were dry because it is a semi-drying product, but not really because I think what she's talking about is that it gets tacky. See that? And it's supposed to be. It's like the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. It's supposed to get tacky so that what you put on top of it adheres to your lip. So if your lips are dry before you put this on, it's not going to be comfortable. You're not going to be into it. So I encourage you to be sure that your lips are extremely hydrated all the time. And this does add a bit of moisture in addition to it priming. It's just strange, it's great. Okay, this is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Mattifying Primer. Ooh. My skin is freshly hydrated with my skincare, so it is perfect for applying this because it's all gonna balance out and not make me too ashy. Put a little bit of this on my cheeks. I rarely go over here, but I'm gonna do it right now. You know what? I'm gonna prime my eyebrows. You know why? I. My eyebrows have been looking greasy and I don't like that. I never do that. Let me see how I like that. Now I hope that doesn't like freeze them into place. Let me brush my brows. I want full coverage, matte, bomb, everything. So I'm gonna be using the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Matte Velvet, excuse me, Velvety Matte Foundation in the color Togo, which I have found is my color right now. And then I'll use Angola in the summertime. Literally, that's all I'm using. And I'm sure this will be more than enough to cover my face and my blemishes. The great thing I like about this is that it's full coverage. So honey, you see these dark spots? Watch. I'm not gonna need anything extra to cover them. Look at that. Wipe off your sponge or your brush. Just, you know, just get the excess off. There's still gonna be product on the brush. Then you're gonna use that to go to the hairline. Naturally, my face is darker on the perimeter. So I don't wanna create, again, any harsh lines around the perimeter of my face. Okay, so I'm using all of this just to give myself extra, extra coverage. And although it's full coverage and it's matte, I don't feel like I have on a mask. I feel like I have on full coverage. 
foundation. I'm gonna use two different concealers because I don't want to be wasteful. And this one came in my boxy charm. This I've had. I used to use this by itself. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Twoffy. And the one that came in my boxy charm was is the Pretty Vulgar Undercover 65 Shady Lady. Now she is so shady because she's not even light enough. Like, where am I going with that? Where are we going? Nowhere. Not even the post office, okay? So I have to mix her with something else because this is not gonna work out for me. You feel what I'm saying? I need more. I like more. I want more now. So that's when I put the Twoffee on top. Twoffee by itself nowadays is too light for me. Like it used to be something, but it's not anymore. Okay, if you're here from my Instagram and you are just enjoying the slower paced video tutorial, I want you to comment below just to encourage me. <laughs> Moving on to contour, this is Juvia's place number two. I bounce between this, Congo is a stick. Should I do Congo? Congo, the Juvia's place stick foundation. Let's do this one. See, it's warm. So it's got a red undertone to it. And I'm just gonna use the leftover to do my nose. I don't want it to be too pronounced, although you'll see it's still gonna be pronounced, which is what I like anyway. Blend this out, blend it into your hairline, black girls. We gotta get our makeup into our hairline. You want it to look well blended, well received, okay? You don't wanna look like it was the one friend who wasn't invited to the party. Your makeup has to go into your hairline which means, you know, your edges get a little affected. Like right now that kind of lifted, but it is what it is. And then you just have to make sure you wash it out every night. But whenever you have makeup on, wash it out that night. You don't want to leave it there. It's gross. It gets all gunky. And see how I didn't take a lot? You don't need to use a lot of this stuff. Really, it's trial and error though. So what's a lot? You're probably like, well, how do I know what a lot is? Well, you got to trial and error, girl. See whatever the product is. If it's a dark product, go easy. I didn't use that much, so it looks really natural. Yeah, the number two is really dark. I could easily use number three in the concealer, but I have number two, and I actually like how dark it is because I know what to do now that I've used it so <laughs> I've used it so often and I've I've overdone it at times. I like my highlighting contour to be dramatic, so it just is what it is. I can tone it down or pump up the volume whenever I please. Now for my nose contour, I'm just taking the remainder on the brush to do that. I'm not gonna kill it by putting more product on my nose. I could, but I don't need to. So just look at this. Right here, you know, bring the contour into the brow and then bring it down. I like to make my nose look narrow like that. Just making sure that there isn't any creasing. And I'm gonna look again before I apply my powder. You have to be very sure because you don't want to set the creases. That's not what we do. I mean, the eye is gonna crease anyway. It's gonna crease, excuse me, hello. Behave. This Cosmo Q was mad expensive years ago. It'd be acting, it'd be acting a fool. This is where I should be. My lights were too bright. I lowered it down. 200 what? ISO, what's it called? I don't know. I don't have time. Okay, great. I'm using Sasha Buttercup powder, okay, to set my highlight and the sponge. This is the Sonia Kashuk sponge. Oh, there's an area that's not covered. What, how did that happen? I messed up my makeup. What? Do you see that? The makeup lifted up. What the heck is that? You want to bumble with the beat? Uh, bzz. Now I'm dusting this off. I don't bake. It's too much of a risk. <laughs> so I just set and dust. Some of my makeup lifted up right here. I don't know how. I gotta get that with powder now. It's gonna look too crazy if I... I will deal with that later. Now on the forehead, we need to add powder. The powder I'm using is this CoverGirl Full Spectrum Matte Ambition All Day Powder Foundation. And this is just to even out everything, adding a little bit of coverage but really bring everything together and making sure that there are no harsh lines. And now for the brows, Morphe Brow Micro Brow Pencil, and this is the color Java. My brows are very unique. You know that I cut off the tip on purpose because I like to create a high arch. If you follow me on Instagram, then you already know that. If you're new, welcome. This is what I do. I love it. It grows and I shave it and it grows and I shave it and it grows and I shave it, so on and so forth. And now I'm gonna use this e.l.f. brow gel. This is the color Espresso. This is a lock-on liner brow cream and I just wanna darken up the tip of my brow. I'm cleaning up my brow with this Morphe concealer in the color C 3.65. This I've used just to highlight my whole face by itself, which is a great color as well but I wanted to use something different earlier, but this I definitely use to highlight my under eye and everything. Now when I blend my brow, con my brow concealer, I start right here where the line of demarcation is, smooth that part out all the way around. 
I'm brushing it very lightly though, so very lightly and then tapping it very lightly. No need to blend up here, why? The color has already been placed. Now when I go up here, it's just to like take the shine away. I am gonna put powder there too, but still, it's just around the line of demarcation. Light strokes here and then pushing it into this, tapping it into the skin really. And this is more Buttercup above my eyelids to take away the shine before I put primer on top. Yo, that by itself is a look. <laughs> like, my face is done. Goodbye. <laughs> and no, I can't stay down. You are the reason I keep. Now for the eye primer that I always use, which is Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. A lot of times people feel like it's called Painterly Paint Pot and they want to know what the color is. The color is actually Painterly. So the way I say it includes the color. I've used this ever since I began learning how to do makeup. And being that I worked at MAC and all of that, I, I mean, MAC was all I used when I first started doing makeup, literally. So this is what I know. I don't use any other eyeshadow primer unless I'm cutting my crease. Then I use P. Louise. What is going on? What is happening right now? I usually use my fingers, but I can't because my nails. Now, to do a black smoky eye, it's easy if you use a black shadow base, but I don't have one. I could have used an eyeliner, but I feel like it'll be too greasy. I'm just sticking with what I know, which is, again, the Painterly Paint Pot from MAC whatever black is black it'll still it'll still be fine even with the smoky eye you want to make sure you have transition colors down so I'm using the Jackie Ina palette this color is edges and this is a transition color it goes right here in the crease and boom look at that pigment yes tap off the excess and then bring it up into the brow bone but not too much and this is a color that flatters my skin and I love to use that I don't I just grabbed ginger I don't know why ginger's not gonna show right now so forget I even did that now now credit which is brown putting that into my crease to darken it up I am gonna use a little purple as well because black and purple does match nicely I'm wiping my brush onto my paper towel and then blending the edges there and now from the Juvia's Place Berries palette I'm gonna use this bluey purple right here like a violet just to put here in the crease to deepen this up before using the black. Cleaning off the brush just a bit before I blend. That's the trick so you don't make a mess. Cleaning off the brush and blend. When you just wanna blend without adding any color, wipe off your brush and do so. And some more on the other side. And I'm going easy to build into this. Now that I've placed, wiping off the brush to now blend this out. Taking this bigger brush again, I'm gonna use edges just to get that reddish brown to come right back in here. Yeah. I like a blend. The brown disappeared, but that's okay. <laughs> when you layer, that happens. And now we need to add black. Hello, Warrior Two. Very, very black, black color. So I'm going to apply that with a flat, fluffy type brush. Looking down, because I wanna avoid a mess on my face. Tapping off the excess is very, very important. With the tighter brush, let's smoke out, blend out the black that is right here in the edges before we go get the purple again. This is leftover edges on the brush, okay? And now I'm going to grab that bluey violet purple situation and go back right here. I got a little messy on this side, but that's fine because when I do the bottom of my eyes, I'm gonna connect it. I don't need to worry so much about eyeliner, but I am just because. This is the CoverGirl Get In Line Active Liquid Liner in the number 350. All right, now I'm taking the CoverGirl Powder Foundation. Again, I'm putting that all over my face to bring everything together. I always do this, very important. Step. And this is what I always refer to as my face powder. And this is to make sure that there are no harsh lines, that the highlight isn't too light. You know, just bring it all in. And that did cover up the blemish, blah, that blemish a bit. And now with the darker one, so that was Deep Cool 2. With this darker one, this is Deep Cool 4. I'm gonna go over my contour. So now I'm taking edges and I'll also bring credit 
down under my eyes. This is purple because I used it in my face the other day, so ignore that. <laughs> okay, this is the Juvia's Place Royalty 2 Loose Highlighter. With loose highlighter, you gotta really build up slowly because otherwise it can really sit in one spot. So that's why I was putting that on very slowly, carefully. You wanna make sure it's even and all that stuff. So loose highlighters are nice, but I consider these to be in a more advanced product. If you're a beginner at makeup, you don't wanna be using loose highlighter. Mm -mm. It's way too easy for it to go left and then you'll find yourself not knowing how to blend it, not knowing how to fix it. Use a pressed highlighter if you're beginning. I've been wearing Menta Cosmetics Clay Too Much blush often because it's a perfect new type of blush that still pops on the skin. So let me wear that. Yes. Like it still pops. And then Peach for the Stars meant it as well. Just put that right here. So gorgeous. Okay, yes, Peach for the Stars. Alrighty, and then on the bottom lash, I'm gonna use It Cosmetics Superhero. This is what I mean. So on the bottom, that's where I use this because it really adds to my lashes. For my lip liner, I'm gonna use Menti Cosmetics M5. This is a brown lip liner with a little bit of well, it looks like a plum hint to it. And then as my lippy, I'm gonna use ColourPop times I Love Sarai Ultra Matte Lip, and this is the color Sueño de Coco. Now, of course, you could wear this without a gloss, but you know, I don't wear glosses enough, and they're really, really cute, so I'm gonna do more of that. I'm, I'm using the e.l.f. Prismatic Lip Gloss in the color Rose Quartz. It's got a little Frosty the Snowman situation going on, so I'm gonna put that right in the middle. So pretty. That is so cute. What do you think about this look? Would you wear this? Are you going to wear this? Are you going to recreate it? Tell me everything in the comments. <laughs> and also comment below on other video suggestions you have. Hopefully the video was easy to follow, but if nothing else, hopefully it was entertaining. Thank you so much for watching.